Dye sublimation is a printing process in which a heat press infuses ink into a material. The material we will be printing onto today is wood. Firstly, we have this blank wood panel. As you can see, it has a blue film on one side. This is because this is the side we will be printing onto as it has a thin coat of polyester, which is what the ink will lock onto. These wood panels come in a few different sizes, but limited shapes. Next, we have transfer paper, which is what the image will be printed onto first, before the wood. Here we have the heat press that we will be using to dye sublimate. First, we will apply a sheet of brown paper as the bottom layer. On top of that, we will apply the transfer paper with the image printed on it face up. Next, we apply the wood panel face down on top of the transfer paper, making sure it is centered and lined up with the transfer paper image. We will then add heat resistant tape to the panel and paper to keep them from moving around. Lastly, we will apply a top layer of brown paper on the wood. Once it is done cooking, we will put our oven mitts on for safety and take the materials out. You do not have to take them apart just yet as they need to cool down before you touch it. Here we have the final product of dye sublimation on wood. As you can see, the image has a warm, earthy tone giving it a vintage appearance. That being said, the wood can give off a yellowish tone and can be harsh on certain images. All wood panels come with pre-drilled keyholes so it is ready to hang and requires no frame. The laminate coating creates a scratch-proof, water-resistant protection and gives off no glare.